It's been a busy day once again, but let's get into it. Hi, I'm Brian from Airflow Music. Welcome back to another video. This is the October 27th edition of our Go Practice Daily Series. I hope you're having a great day today. This has been a busy day for me. I'm recording this segment at least right at the end of the day, although I recorded today's exercise as one of the very first things I played um, just over 12 hours ago. The exercise we're dealing with in this video is once again going to be exercise of the week number two, our original alternative technical study, or the technical study uh, arpeggios number one, as it's called in the exercise of the week book. And we started on this one yesterday, and we had kind of a stumble through it, and once again today I'm going to play this fairly slowly, 100 beats a minute, and once again, we're just going to play this slurred, ignore the articulations for now, keep it comfortably soft. I'm going to personally play this really soft. I recorded this uh, just before nine o'clock in the morning, which is a little earlier than I typically like to play open horn in the apartment here. So I have a cut mute in just to take the edge off and I'm playing quite softly. For you, you should keep it to a comfortable soft volume. That's my recommendation. And just kind of once again, this is not quite as much of a stumble through as it was yesterday. Having played this yesterday, I'm a little more familiar with it, so my hope is that it will go a little more smoothly, but I'm still not being too hard on myself. I'm really getting to know the pattern, particularly in some of the keys more than others. So that's what we're gonna deal with with this one. Let's get into playing it. If you'd like the PDF of this exercise, you'll find the link to the Airflow Music online store where you can download the PDF for free. And also, this one is available in the Exercise of the Week printed book. I'm going to get into playing this. Uh, 100 beats a minute, as I say. I'm going to aim to make four bars rest in between keys. And I'm going to try and do a better job than I did yesterday of counting out four bars rest and not starting again too early. And also, play this in any keys you can manage within your comfortable range. This one gets a little high towards the end. So don't worry about those too much. Follow along. Observe what the pattern is. Or play it down the octave for the later keys if it's too high for you. Okay? I'm not trying to hurt ourselves here. Anyway, let's get into playing this thing.
For me, this exercise is still a little squirrely in places. Uh, there's some keys where I struggle with it more than others, and part of the challenge of the later keys where it's up quite high is starting on the highest note of the phrase and getting that to come out cleanly. And this was early in my day, just after I warmed up, and my slots up there still weren't completely locked in. I have to say they got locked in in short order during the day. I did a six hour recording session today playing lead trumpet the whole way. And I think the fact of being able to do that, part of what contributed to that was getting started with this and exposing some of those notes early in the day. So I felt good about having run this exercise earlier on. Anyway, how are you finding this exercise? It's always good to hear from you about these things. Is this one you've checked out before since it was originally an exercise of the week back in the day? interested to know what you think about it and it may be one that you've practiced regularly particularly if you got into it from the exercise of the week series if so what have you been finding about this what's your experience with this exercise it's one i practiced somewhat when it was first done but it's not one i've kept regularly in my routine anyway otherwise that's what i have for you in this one hope you've enjoyed the exercise and playing along with me if you have please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I'll be back with another video tomorrow, and until then, thanks very much for watching, and go practice.